Cashiers of Reddit, what products do you silently judge people for buying? User Karma Rat replied, Years ago, I worked at a drugstore that had a liquor department. One customer has forever stayed with me because she broke my heart. She was older, maybe in her late 60s, early 70s, always clean and neat, but clearly living on a very restricted income. Very polite as well. She came in every day to buy the exact same thing, with no variation, a pint of the cheapest vodka we had, a can of cat food, and a lottery ticket. After about six months of this, I asked about her cat and she told me she didn't have one, that this was cheap and good enough for her to live on. I was floored. To think of this sweet lady eating cat food so she could afford her lottery ticket and vodka, it still messes me up. User Morgan Stern answered, I worked for a liquor store chain for 11 years. I really didn't pay attention too much to the actual item they bought, but the cost and quantity. Had one lady buy three 1.75 bottles of 9.99 vodka every morning. Her skin was yellow. User Gangsta Gokizi answered, Anything old ladies buy at Ross. They come in every day, spend all their money on useless items and clothes and shoes. Then they return everything at different Rosses and buy more junk. It's an addiction. User Qua answered, I really don't judge as much as I try to figure out what you're doing that night. Buying cake mix, sprinkles, pop, chips? Okay, easy, you're having a birthday party. Buying a pack of condoms and a frozen pizza? You're obviously some sort of sex god who lures in victims with delectable food. User Anti Pro Anti answered, Toothless, red-eyed, twitchy guy with two eight-packs of canned air duster. Have fun cleaning out your processor heatsink there, buddy. User Baya21 answered, This only happened to me once, but I used to work as a cashier at Whole Foods in Boston. A man came in one day with a swollen black eye, cut lip, and blood all over his shirt. He then proceeded to buy 50 cases of maple syrup. User Crazy Canadian 96 answered, Doesn't really apply to the question, but I've always wondered why this one older gentleman comes in once a week to buy this one washer that costs six cents. Comes in every week, at least once, to buy this one washer. Why not just buy a bag for a couple bucks and never have to come back to the Home Depot again? Just never made sense to me. Edit, he pays with cash, so no cash back. User Doinky Poink answered, Saturday morning, 9 a.m. ish, a guy walks to the counter with two wines, the kinds you get in a box and anti-hangover pills as an expression of the sad face. Our gaze meets, he has a slight nod of, I'm gonna regret this look. I nod back and off he goes. User Archangel9 answers, I used to be a cashier and I usually wouldn't care what people bought unless it was a large quantity of one thing. Pretty suspicious. But there was this one guy I remembered who would come in maybe once or twice a week and buy those Trojan Magnum condoms. He'd walk up, that was the only thing in hand, put it on the counter with the most smug grin you've ever seen. That guy was annoying. He was hitting on one of the other cashiers for the longest time, too. User Juicebox Hero answered, Before the days of TLC coupon clipping reality shows, one woman came through my line and bought 217 bottles of assorted craft salad dressing. She ended up paying nothing for them because of some weird coupon loophole. After my manager had cleared her and she left the store, I was initially impressed, but then thought, what the hell are you going to do with 217 bottles of salad dressing? User Rosa Fuchs answered, I usually didn't judge unless it was ridiculous amounts of junk. My favorite was a customer who bought two cases of tuna, a large pack of disposable razors, and a few cans of lady shaving cream. I was wringing the stuff out and started giggling. He was confused and I asked, are you going to shave a cat? The guy looked at his purchases and started laughing so hard he couldn't breathe. Both of us were in tears by the time he was out the door. No one else heard us, so we just looked insane. User Chef answered this way, 
This happened to my stepdad at the grocery store. He was buying baby diapers and goat milk for the orphaned baby goat we were taking care of. The cashier looked at the items and said, Aw, do you have a baby at home that drinks goat's milk? To which he replied, No, we have a goat at home who wears diapers. Everyone got a good laugh, although I'm not sure the cashier actually believed him. Several years later, that orphan baby goat far surpasses me and my siblings as the favorite child in the family. User Howley7 responded, My friend is a cashier at a 7-Eleven and told me how people often buy cigarellos for weed. Once, some like 75-year-old guy bought $50 worth of cigarellos and gave them to a bunch of 14-year-old girls. He was doing more laughing than judging. User KBray13 responded, Two years ago, I had a lady buy 100 Farmville cards. I have never judged a customer more harshly than that. User Infirmidad responded, I once had a couple buy a pack of unlubricated Trojans and a container of, I can't believe it's not butter, and I could barely keep a straight face ringing them up. User Accidental Ginger responded to that post by saying, I doubt they were related. If they were smart, they'd know that oil-based lubricants can break down latex. If they weren't, well, enjoy your not quite butter, baby. User Ginger Not Addressing responded, Worked at a McDonald's when I was 16. People would buy a hamburger, then complain they ordered five. The cashier made an error and demanded they be brought out quickly. I would have to explain they only paid for one, as the receipt shows, so I would be happy to get them four more if they paid for them. People always thought they had a foolproof plan for free food. User Unidentifiable Blarg answered, I served a girl once who only bought two items, Tabasco sauce and condoms. I silently hoped they were not related. User D as in Avid responded, I worked at the customer service desk and I usually don't ring up many groceries. This one lady, probably her mid-40s, came up with a bottle of baby oil and put it on the counter. I asked if that was all she was buying and she asked, where's the candy located? Oh crap, I look like such a pervert. That really made my day. User Bell1010 responded, when a guy is buying tampons and or pads, I'm silently thinking, you are awesome. An anonymous user responded to that post by saying, I had to ask a female employee for help once. I was sent with a piece of paper and the brand type my ex needed. There are so many kinds. I was a little embarrassed, but that employee told me I was a great guy. Kind of took that feeling away. User All This Booze responded, I used to work as loss prevention at Walmart. We'd carry items around as props to look like we were shopping. I'd always have a Justin Bieber calendar, rope, a jar of Vaseline, and condoms in my hands as I walked around trying to catch people stealing. When nothing was going on, it's a really, really boring job. Just a lot of walking and waiting, so I'd carry weird stuff to see people's faces when I walked by. User Ska Robot responded, Two guys at a Safeway buying a single cucumber, a box of condoms, and a bottle of Lubriderm looked at me dead in the eye and said, we're not gay. User SoxFan5614 responded, Walgreens cashier here. A lady about 55 years old comes into Walgreens every day and buys the same three items every day. One gallon of drinking water, one 99 cent tube of lotion, and a single roll of the cheapest toilet paper we sell. That stuff's like sandpaper. She then asks for every item in their own separate bag. I'm sorry, but I judged the crap out of her. An anonymous user reported, former McDonald's employee here, I didn't really judge fat people buying a lot of food for themselves. I don't really care after all. However, I judged fat people buying a lot of food to their young fat kids, like a large Big Mac meal for a seven-year-old kid. Always made me kind of mad. Great Lover 777 answered, worked at a Walmart in a college town, had about nine guys come through together and bought between all of them three containers of beer each, two boxes of condoms each, and then each guy had two boxes of sleeping pills. It was a bad combination to buy all together. My manager ended up pulling the tapes and getting the police involved. 
User Granularity responded, I only judged one customer. She had three children who were dirty, hyper, pale, and overweight. She bought a gallon of milk and a whole boatload of Little Debbie cakes. She used food stamps. When the youngest, six years old, asked if he could get a soda, she said, we don't have enough for a soda, and I sure as hell ain't using my cigarette money. I just thought about how completely she was screwing those kids over. User Davey J answered, not a particular product, but customers who ask if I'll let 75 cents slide so they don't have to break a $5 bill. What? No. Also, people who dig for exact change for about 30 seconds when there's a line and I could have handed them their 11 cents in one. And an unidentified user said, lottery tickets. I see people dropping 20 bucks a day on them and then using their EBT for food purchases. I just can't understand that mentality.